Okay, the most obvious question could be is how is this all to begin? But if we were to be left in the unknown state and to rather explore the context of what has been described as healers. Now it's with an equal understanding that within the physical descriptive state of reality, healers have been described as doctors, whereby acknowledging that if we were sick, we would go see a doctor and they would be prescribing for pharmaceutical medicines, namely antibiotics, that is supposed to cure us from whatever illness that we may be suffering from within that current time. But on a broader exploration of it, it's also acknowledging that the pharmaceutical companies, namely also the health system in general, is basically designed around these diseases for them to be within existence. And so that these medicines, again, are able to profit from these diseases and from curing these diseases. Namely, again, individuals will always be coming last and the medicines and the diseases and the profits will always be coming first. But on a broader exploration of it once more, it would be also acknowledging that doctors have come to state that individuals should be taking health supplements. But again, acknowledging that these health supplements have also been stated that are not to replace healthy foods. So for us to remain healthy, it would be to eat healthy. Again, the cure is within the plants. So, with that being explored, an effort then were to explore our mental health, so to speak, whereby within the physical descriptive state of reality, these supposed he healers of the mental health have been described as psychologists and psychiatrists, recognizing that if we had to go see these individuals, we, from the ego perspective, are to release all this baggage that has been clouding our emotions or been weighing down our emotions and these individuals are just going to sit there and just give mild opinions every now and then while we become possibly the greatest pessimists than we can possibly imagine but in that we are again releasing this negative energy whereby this is also again giving the state of awareness the opportunity to rise as the state of awareness is emotionally connected and where through this minor chit chat we are able to come within the state of clarity whereby we are now finding a sense of belonging from a loving belonging from these individuals to actually open up so honestly and openly about everything that might be disrupting our emotions but again they will be at the end of the day either giving us advice or giving us pharmaceutical medicines or even worse comes to worse shock treatment shock treatment is possibly the most insanest Thing that a person could possibly go through but people are going through it because of severe depression and schizophrenia and the list can just continue but on a broader perspective of it it also acknowledges that or reveals that individuals are actually paying people to be loving friends to actually be people paying for people to actually care whereby I mean we are our friends I mean if we are supposed to be so open with our friends and our friends are supposed to be so loving towards us why are so many individuals going to psychologists and psychiatrists it's obviously that they are feeling rejected from the world around us recognizing the major the major percentage of depression is caused by individuals so on a deeper exploration of this it would also be exploring the context of meditation whereby meditation has also been described to for an individual to experience a state of loving clarity for themselves whereby again as we come to physically close our eyes we are releasing the ego state from this physical descriptive state of reality 
and we are allowing our states of awareness to rise but within the arisal of the vibrational energy it is also allowing the states of awareness to explore the in-depth emotions of the known states I, our states of pure happiness, our states of pure peace, our states of pure love and it's through this state that we come to again acknowledge a state of clarity of the answers that we could possibly be seeking from the questions within the physical descriptive state of reality recognizing that the physical descriptive state of reality is also to be described to be associated or connected with the questionable descriptive state whereby through this state of clarity or through the state of meditation we are exploring the known states what actually will make us happy what actually gives us love what will make us feel love what will bring us peace peace to mind peace to life peace to heart but on a deeper exploration of it it's obviously to be equally understand that not many 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 people that suffer from severe depression and normal daily stresses may have a tendency of um, having a difficulty of experiencing this deep meditational experience whereby it's obviously to be recognized that psychedelics are the answer to this whereby psychedelics are to be discovered within the plants, the mushrooms, the cacti and of course within the man-made LSD but on a deeper uh, exploration of the mushroom on the biblical text now without insulting in many religious people out there but I ask you to research this matter openly and open heartedly whereby it's even professing that Jesus came to promote manna unto the Hebrews Israelites whereby manna has also been described as a mushroom now mushrooms this manna was supposedly created on the sixth day of creation but it's also equally understanding that Jesus himself also went and experienced 40 days of meditation within the desert and in that context if Jesus was also consuming the Amanita uh, muscaria mushroom it's also acknowledging that he is also consuming one of the most powerful mushrooms in existence and this exploration of such divinity of such clarity of such awakened spirit we can only imagine that if a psychedelic experience can do such a great marvel into a person's life what can this continuous process be and this continuous exploration do unto another individual whereby it's obviously to be realized that Jesus was highly highly divine in all possible aspects and it is uh, undoubtable that he was a healer in many many different aspects whereby he was also a Kundalini monster whereby he was constantly exploring and constantly connecting with the source of the divine state of origination whereby this is the divine state of happiness this is where everything has come from if God is to be described as love and love is to be described as God he is connecting with this divine state of emotional God recognizing that he was constantly cleansing his his spirit from this physical descriptive state of reality and cleansing his mind and cleansing his spirit and cleansing his life through what he was eating and all of that recognizing that meditation is also a, a cure and recognizing that these plants and these mushrooms and cactuses and even the LSD is also a cure whereby on a deeper, on a different perspective of it, this is not only to be reviewed on one sector of a religious aspect, recognizing that this has been reviewed within the Hindu belief, this has also been explored within the Buddhist belief, and just recently I came to discover through a good Muslim friend or Islamic friend of mine that the Quran comes to state 
that manna is also described in the Quran and the Prophet Muhammad actually comes to state himself that truffles are a part of manna which Allah sent to the people of Israel through Moses and it is and its juice is the medicine for the eye recognizing that the eye is the spiritual eye this is our third eye the third eye which again is connected to our pineal gland which is within the center of our brain and this is how we come to our explore our emotions if we are seeing the physical world from two eyes which is again connected to the ego we have to understand that the one eye is connected to the state of awareness and the one eye will show us the way to the state of clarity namaste